I see the people. I see they're coming to work full of purpose. And today will be the day that they will make that major breakthrough. The Hong Kong Science and Technology Park, our goal is to help people live healthier, happier, and longer. And we have the resources and the commitment to help people achieve this dream. The Hong Kong Stock Exchange, which is arguably the largest IPO market in the world, they were able to assist companies in fundraising. And about three years ago, they launched what's called a Chapter 18A, which is a pre-revenue IPO for biotech companies. And this is a game changer. Hong Kong has a very unique position internationally. Number one, it has a very mature financial and also IP protection system. And number two, it has a very talented workforce, young workforce, particularly in industrial design and all these areas. This really puts Hong Kong on the map in the biotech world. Now you're attracting innovators seeking investment uh, to grow their companies. Innovation is really the key. Copycat and the Me Too type of approach, I don't think has a, uh, has a future. Really pay attention to detail, to position your product in a place that needs unmet clinical demand. I think that's very important. At Precision Robotics, we're developing a smart endoscope for creating a, a vision that inside the body. In traditional endoscopy, uh, the camera is inserted by a doctor into the patient and it has a rather a limited angle of view. So by leveraging robotics, we can make our endoscope have a robust uh, movement that is required uh, to maneuver the scope inside the patient's body to look around. Developing product is not for faint-hearted. You have seen many young faces and they are really the future. I'm providing a stage setting and they are putting together the show. I got the chance to work with the principal robotics engineer in the company, which uh, you can never dream of if you start your career uh, inside a very, very large scale company. We have great universities that are world ranked and this is where innovative ideas and innovative people come from. And we have a public commitment by the government making biotech and healthcare a uh, top priority. And on top of that, we have the infrastructure uh, to facilitate um, innovation to occur. To me, Science Park is, uh, is like a university campus. It provides this atmosphere and environment, which really is, I would say, one of the best working areas. Science Park has no walls, and you see many people actually that are cycling along. This ambience, this social friendliness, is a part of a society and it's part of life. The Hong Kong spirit, the can-do spirit, is actually perfect for biomedical technology R&D because medical technology R&D is high risk, high reward. It requires a very diligent commitment to see through this very long journey. It's turning small ideas into wonderful solutions that can serve mankind. So Hong Kong is a great place uh, because of that spirit.